the Missouri National Guard one-on-one. -on -one. Missouri National Guard, always ready, always there. He helped Missouri get off to a fast start against Vanderbilt and the Tigers win over the Commodores. It's Eric Waters, the Tiger tight end, joining us here on the Mizzou Network. And first, tell us about that uh, touchdown, your first touchdown catch of the year and a heck of a play there against Vandy. Yes, it was. It was exciting, uh, you know, something we've been expecting for weeks now. But uh, being able to get in and score in the first uh, SEC game, especially against a good team like Vanderbilt, man, it was priceless moment. That was a little teardrop from above from James, was, wasn't it? <laughs> Going back and watching it on film, you're like, wow, how did he even, how did he even get that pass off? It was, uh, it was amazing. Um, James is throwing some, some good balls lately. Tell me about uh, kind of the groove he's gotten into and how it's resulted in you guys as an offense really hitting a, a good stride the last few weeks. Uh, it's just a different, it's, it's a different look than we had last year. Um, now this is, he's really stepped up. He's went back and worked on a couple of things. Um, now he's one of the, the better passers and better overall quarterbacks in the country, which makes it just even that much better. He's got this confidence about himself now that, um, that he knows he's going to get the job done, and uh, especially from our quarterback. That's what we need. And a nice confidence boost game for you, I'm sure, against Vanderbilt. Uh, not just the touchdown, but a few other catches along the way. And how big was that for you to, to break out and, and have a nice offensive game? Um, it was huge, you know, to, um, for me, since we really haven't been in the pass game much um, early on. Um, it really didn't make much of a difference because, you know, for three years we've been in the spread before that, and um, that's what we do on a daily basis is catch, is catch passes. So I look at it as just another regular game, and um, you just keep on playing. You go out there, you put, put your best on the table every single play, and then fortunately the ball just happened to find me. So that's about it. What do you think some of the keys will be to try to uh, get a win down in Georgia this week? Um, we definitely have to be tough and physical, one of the most physical we have to be the most physical team on the field at the time. Um, we also need to uh, just keep on doing what we're doing. Go out there and have fun with it. Um, we have to execute, build confidence in practice. Um, that's about it, man. We just we put together a solid week of practice and go out there and keep doing what we're doing and be more physical with what with, with what we're doing. Everything will be good. How how much of a, a family bond have you guys even increased? I know that is one of the, the tenets of this program is, is yeah. family and closeness and togetherness, but everybody around here, too, a man seems to say that it's even tighter around here this year and there is even more of a family atmosphere. And how much is that helping this team do what you've done so far? It's, it's helping a lot. It's tremendous. Uh, you know, man, it's, it's just you can just see it in, in every, everything that we do everywhere, everywhere we, that we go, especially on road trips. Man, we really come together close and tight when we really need it. Um, the family aspect, man, it's just, it's just, we just want to be brothers. Brothers look out for each other. Um, you know, that's, that's pretty much what everything boils down to. You know, you gotta, you gotta have that family aspect. And we'll see if it can get you guys a 6-0 and this week. Uh, Eric, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. No problem. Eric Waters and the Missouri Tigers take on Georgia this Saturday. You can see the game on ESPN at 11 a.m. Central Time.